Right. So, we've got a Venn diagram here, and we've got the numbers 1, 2, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And the number 3 says it's in, okay, so 1, 2, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so this is missing, so we're missing number 3 here, which is the right number 6. So it says number 3 is in set Q, but not in set P. So it's going to be inside this circle, but it's not allowed to be in this in the big width because that's P and Q together. So 3 is going to go in here. And the number 6 is in both sets, P and Q. So the bit where it's both, 6 is going in the middle. Okay? The student chooses a random number in the computer pen diagram, so it could be any number inside the box, any number between 1, 2, 3, 4. There's no 5, but there is a 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I know the probability that it's not in set Q. Not in Q. Well, so there's a, this isn't in Q, that's not in Q, that's not in Q. This isn't in Q, this isn't in Q, this isn't in Q, this isn't in Q. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven numbers that aren't in Q. And there are one, two, three, four that are in, so that means there's 11 total in the diagram. Okay? So that means the probability that the number is not in set Q is going to be 7 out of 11 written as a function.